Good afternoon, everybody. My name is um, Helen Helm. I'm a city councillor uh, for LL, which is in Lancaster district. I'm chairman of the Institute Trust, which has been working for six years towards building a new village hall in Gargate. We are now stood in LL New Village Hall. Very much thanks to the LEF funding, which started us going and has kept us going right the way through. We've got a dedicated team of workers and painters and everything here. And this is going to be an absolutely fantastic place. Uh, the hub of the community and I'm really, really pleased we've got this far. My name's Kim Wisdom. I'm one of the trustees of Heapy and Wheelton Village Hall. We're a small village outside Chorley. We've had fantastic support from LEF in uh, really refurbishing our village hall and it's just made the most astonishing difference. We had an ancient underground boiler that we were just terrified if it broke, whether we could get somebody to fix it, whether we could get the parts. Um, the heating was so noisy, if you had the heating on you had to sit on a radiator to try and keep it quiet. So the money has enabled us to have an air-to-air -air heat system, we've lowered and insulated the ceilings, we've got new energy efficient lighting, we've had over 30 new windows, uh, we've got new storage and it has just transformed the space. We've had such positive feedback from user groups. It, it's, it's just been amazing. And the other thing I'd like to say is we had really good advice from Finley at Community Futures when we were developing the bid and also from Anne and Andy at LEF, which I think made a huge difference to the success of the bid and it's given us the evidence base to support other bids in the future. Hi, I'm Kath Powell, I'm the Community Development Manager for Parkview for You. Um, we're here at Parkview Playing Fields in Lytham and this is our fantastic brand new community centre and cafe um, which has been partly funded by the LEF. We were funded to the tune of 30,000 um, by Lancashire Environment Fund and that was the very first funding we got towards the building and without that funding this building wouldn't have happened. Oh. It, it, it wasn't one major funder, it was small pots of different funders coming together um, and they had to have a lot of patience because if one had have pulled out it would have been a, a domino effect and the whole lot would have come crashing down so they were very good and very understanding we, we had to wait till we get all the funding in place before we could start the build but the LA, LEF have been amazing um, in funding and, and for having the patience to, to stick with it really. Um, this cafe and community centre is, will make a massive difference to the park. Hello, I'm Mark Reed. I'm from Ellswick Parish Council and here today we're at the Ellswick Wildflower Garden and Orchard which has been developed over the last 12 months with the help of the Lancashire Environmental Fund. We've helped fund and develop the project um, as it is today. Um, it's been utilised from a rough piece of land and developed into a lovely wildflower garden which is an oasis for the local residents and the local communities. Um, and we've also developed a orchard next to us with a variety of trees um, which no doubt some of the residents will be sampling over the next 12 months. It's an ideal spot and as you can tell it's a very peaceful oasis and hopefully we'll be getting the local schools to come down and learn about the ecology and the wildflowers that we have here today. Hello, I'm Phil Dykes from Lancashire Wildlife Trust and I'm the Reserve Officer responsible for the site here at Foxhill Bank in Oz and Twistle. Uh, it's been good that this year we've had funding from LEF to support some of the work that we do here. We've actually been running a biodiversity project here this year and been doing a variety of jobs, things like hedge laying, um, we've had two or three sessions on that. We've been doing some meadow work, meadow management, and trying to make it more species rich. Um, we've done um, things like we've done a kingfisher a nesting site, which is really quite exciting, uh, and a whole range of projects, you know, bird boxes, etc., to try and improve the wildlife here at the reserve. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Annabelle Rushton and I'm the Visitor Officer here at RSPB Leighton Moss Nature Reserve. Many thanks to the Lancashire Environment Fund for funding our brand new Eric Morecambe Hyde. Its predecessor was on site here for about 30 years and served us well but has succumbed to the wind and the weather so we are delighted that the LEF have funded our brand new Hyde that should hopefully last for another 30 years yet. I was doing the pushing thing to stay. And others we took up the Hill and they walked back from Tarbold. About six miles, but they were like drowned rats. I'm Duncan Goulder, I'm the Reserves Officer at Mayor Sands Wood Nature Reserve. Um, we've uh, received £15,000 funding um, to put green roofs on our workshop uh, and on the hides. Well, good afternoon, my name is Phil Dewhurst from Groundwork Pan Air Lancashire. The, I manage the offshoot uh, permaculture project where we are now. And um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the support that we've received from LEF. Um, we've undertaken a cotton grass uh, conservation project with the assistance of the funding from LEF. Uh, and it entails us going out onto the moorlands that surround us here in Burnley collecting the seed from the moorlands, bringing that back and propagating it and growing it on and then uh, splitting the mother plants to bulk up the plants that we then return to United Utilities and other organisations who plant them back out on the moorland and consequently uh, bring about moorland regeneration. My name's Sue Flowers, um, I run Green Close Studios which is based in Melling in the Loom Valley um, and the LEF have supported uh, a new project for this year 2012 which is 400 years since the persecution of the Lancashire Witches. Um, the project that they've been able to support is something called the Lancashire Witches Walk which is um, a new long distance walking route from Barrowford to Lancaster that we've been uh, exploring through some walking research we've been doing with local walkers as part of a heritage lottery funded project. Um, we now have um, the, the basis of a new long distance sustainable route and the LEF has helped us to upgrade the route and make it accessible um, for visitors to the area and also local members of the local community. Hi, my name is Victoria Fellows and I'm the marketing manager at the Martin Mayer Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust Centre. We're here today because the Lancashire Environmental Fund kindly gave us £1,100 to create what we call Mears Link, which is effectively a trail from Martin Mere all the way to Mere Sands Wood. And the hope is that a lot of interested bird watchers and adults who enjoy uh, being involved in nature will actually walk between both sites and have a great day out. Hi, my name's Colin Riley. I work for the Woodland Trust as a site manager and today we're in Dog Kennel Wood uh, where Lancashire Environmental Fund gave us approximately £20,000 last year which was gratefully received and we spent it on three new footbridges, uh, some footpath surfacing and some new entrances. Hi, my name's Kay Horsley and I'm from the Environmental Projects team at Lancashire County Council. Uh, we're here today at the Community Excavation at Ardner Hall in Accrington. The idea behind this project is to give people a chance to see how archaeology um, works on the ground. A bit of a time team experience for them. And we've got a whole load of volunteers and school kids here today um, learning how to dig and the dig's going to be open for three weeks so that should give people plenty of time to come along, have a look and join in. It's really exciting, it's a good opportunity for local residents to get to know more about their heritage and we couldn't have done it without the, local, without the Lancashire Environmental Fund. Um, they've been a really good supporter of the project and a good supporter of the whole of the Peel Park restoration project of which this is a small part. Great. 
Um, I'm Bill Matthews, I'm the chairman of Baxendon Community Forum and we have been heavily involved in the production of this beautiful rose garden which is the 100th anniversary of the original rose garden that was created here by Anne Howarth who lived in the house with her husband. Um, Baxendon Community Forum has been heavily involved in this project. We, we support um, green projects across the whole of the area as part of the Prospects um, charity which is exclusive to Accrington and with the help of LEF we've raised the funding to be able to make this beautiful rose garden that you see over my shoulder today.